smart lesson planning is for the primary stakeholders in education, teachers, admin, parents, and students. The acronym is TAPS. Let's turn on the TAPS. This is where the magic starts, with cap notes on smart lesson planning templates. Preserve and share your lessons like never before. Learn how cap notes work. You want to raise test scores and give students time to digest what they learn at the end of each class. Teach and practice the nine step lesson summary process that CAP Notes offer. Teach students how to make game cards. Teach students how to play the way game. CAP Notes use whole brain mnemonic principles that stimulate and encourages creativity in students. Let's introduce an element of fun to class. Now teachers didn't use this method of lesson planning before because the technology didn't exist. Here are a few things you may want to think about when planning your lesson. Think nine steps. Break your planning down into a series of steps. Think of the acronym KISS. Keep it simple and smart. Share your best learning websites with others. Look for the wow, the exciting, the educational and entertaining. Bring many voices to your class. Teachers, step back and allow others, especially students, to help lead the class. Anchoring lessons with interactive websites differentiates instruction and breaks down classroom walls, allowing 24-7 access. Don't be afraid to challenge the status quo. Interpreting and using the smart ways of learning tools and procedures is part of the challenge. Be smart about things. Nothing is written in stone. Improvise when need be. The Q&A page is the first page of your daily lesson plans. Do the following. Give examples of some possible Q&As. Include the date and any notes for student agendas. It's a good idea to cut and paste the date and put it on all your pages. These are points to consider when planning your lesson. I don't look for perfection when creating lessons. Teachers just don't have the time. But think what it would be like if your lessons came from a lesson plan bank. Planning now becomes finding the best lessons you can but more of that later. At the end of the day, I would take my finished lessons and drag and drop them into a file folder for the month. I would group lessons into their subject areas. This is great for self-evaluating the quality of your lessons. Plus, it makes it easier to find and share your lessons with others. When I started doing this, posting lessons in PDF format was all that was available. Now you can save a notebook file that students can open at home. And that's great.